Hey guys, it's Lola again. I'm here to talk about Jean Paul Getty III. If you're not into Twisted Stories, then go ahead and click off this link and go to something a little bit more lighthearted. Now, this is not a murder story like my last one was, but it is pretty messed up. So, Jean Paul Getty III was the grandson of Paul Getty, of Jean Paul Getty, who was the richest man in the world. They lived in Rome in 1973, and Jean Paul was known as the Golden Hippie. He slept all day and partied all night. He often hung out with Andy Warhol, Jack Nicholson, Faye Dunway, Roman Pulaski, Mick Jagger, and the Rolling Stones. He lived off a small allowance, even though his family was rich, and had often joked about having to stage a kidnapping to live a normal, wealthy life. Well, on July 10th, 1973, while leaving a bar drunk, he was beat and threw into a car by three armed men. Getty believed he had been arrested. His mother, Gail Harris, believed he had run off with a girl. No one believed that this kidnapping was actually true, due to him joking about it before. What an awful mistake. When the kidnapper, kidnappers demanded $17 million for his return, his grandfather stated that if he paid even a single penny now, he'd had 14 kidnapped grandchildren. He was found to be abducted by the Calabrian Mafia and taken 250 miles from Rome. He was kept blindfolded and moved place to place, chained up in rough shacks and caves for months on end. He was fed very poorly and forced to walk miles in mountainous country blindfolded. After three months with no ransom, they cut his hair, fed him, gagged him with a handkerchief, held his arms behind his back, and put his head down on a chopping block and sliced his ear off with a razor. Now, they did not only just slice his ear off with a razor, but he had to sit there for an hour while he listened to them sharpen the razor. They made him pose for a picture, and he bled for three days. They sent the picture, hair covered in blood that they had cut off from him, and his ear to a newspaper, which took nearly three weeks to be received. Once it was received, they called the family, and the mother came down and confirmed that, yes, it was her son's ear due to a freckle he had on it. Well, the grandfather sent Fletcher Chase to pay the ransom. Fletcher Chase was a former CIA, CIA agent, and they, he went to Italy with around $2 million. Chase rented a car, drove to the town that they had told him to, and he had his window rolled down when they started throwing pebbles at him. This was going to be the sign for him to pull over and pay the ransom. While he was paying the ransom, they had two other people pull off and act as if they were terrorists. Tourists, not terrorists. Tourists. And those tourists identified the kidnappers. After five months of imprisonment, Jean Paul Getty III was released. He tried hitchhiking, but nobody picked him up. He tried laying down and playing dead, and nobody cared. Nobody stopped. Finally, one truck driver stopped, but when Getty told him who he was... The truck driver took him as crazy and went to the police station. The police came and picked him up only to throw him in the police car and bring him down to the police station where they questioned him on his kidnapping, saying that, he, that it was all a ploy to defraud his grandfather. It wasn't until Chase, the CIA agent, former CIA agent, had threatened a lawsuit against them that they finally released him. They were able to identify the kidnappers, but only two of the eight that were identified were actually in 
imprisoned, and they were imprisoned from 8 to 16 years. The other six got off due to lack of evidence. Now, this is a sad story, and hopefully the kids learn not to joke about kidnapping anymore because that's just not funny. And hopefully he moved on with his life until he did die. I'm not exactly sure what year, but he got into drugs and really bad. And this caused him to have an illness to, uh, because he overdosed. He was brought back to life, but from then on had a serious illness. This illness did eventually lead to his death. But hopefully between the time that he was able to come home from being kidnapped until the time he had passed away, it's hard to say that he had chosen a good life. Because obviously he was doing drugs during that time, but at least we know he lived to the fullest. Y'all stay safe.